Yes. Welcome to my new um, display space, display workshop space in uh, Scarborough. It's, uh, it's in July of 2022. Um, yeah, so it's a slightly bigger space. I'm sorry for the mess. Um, uh, we'll go first. And, but uh, so, yeah, I, um, I'm still displaying my uh, repurposed the materials uh, designs related to urban agriculture. And that is the uh, uh, indoor um, uh, roll light barrel stand. Uh, yeah, you can't see the stand though in this view. Um, I mean, the uh, there's uh, these present more presentation uh, at the bottom there. It's like a mini stand that makes it more presentable. And the uh, yeah, there's plants inside. Uh, cacti, cacti plants, succulents. Um, there's an aloe over the bottom there. I don't know. I'm going a little too far, I think. Yeah. Right. Good luck on that. I've got the um, uh, the two feet long LED roll lights and the the lantern cells, the decorated, carved. Um, the purpose saw your drink. It's got a I'm also too far. It's got a, uh, it's got the uh, repurposed plastic cup inside, slightly painted. Uh, this is the cart. Sometimes I show slides, <laughs> a slideshow on the wall. Um, yeah, this is another version. It's slightly larger. It's got two LED lights back to back, sort of. We can put plants on both sides, I mean plant you indoors to start seedlings at home. Uh, we got some of the paper flowers and these uh, sub, uh, kind of sub-irrigated uh, repurpose pop bottles and plastic containers. And this is the uh, sub-irrigated uh, uh, planter, raised planter, We're cutting the barrel in half and then putting the, the white translucent and that acts as sort of a mini greenhouse. All right, let me go back here. I got some of my art, watercolors. This Lux, um, at the copy of uh, the, the painting that I got from Mr. Locke. Two horses, the light is in the way. <laughs> and um, yeah, I've got some of the watercolors I painted at, Lux, at uh, while talking to Newtown Studio, uh, uh, yeah, over 10 years ago now, I think. And another version, more watercolors. These are practice paintings. I have the Met, more presentable, and very affordable prices. <laughs> and then, um, yeah, this is the liquid uh, composting, half barrel that you can put outside. Um, with, uh, it's got some. Uh, I will put some insulation around an inner plastic bucket so that uh, you know, the water inside the liquid compost won't um, crack as easily. Um, yeah, so let the uh, veggie compost uh, sit for uh, the winter outside. Well, this is a uh, it was an old, old IKEA shelving unit that. Um, I guess the, the, the shelvings uh, sagged because I put things that were too heavy on it and then so I repurposed it into this smaller and I found some wood pieces on the, on the streets, uh, residential streets near where I live. And um, yeah, this is the um, uh, barrel, um, pedal barrel, uh, pedal, pedal funnel barrel, rain barrel that uh, I'm hoping to test this out um, next week. Uh, it's got a full sheet of um, tarp from the dollar store. I started with actually these smaller ones. As you can see, there's two layers. There's four um, the lower ones that I started with. And I used um, wires and clips to um, and these uh, coat hangers too. 
give it a little bit of an, an edge support toe, and so they they kind of fan out from that, and um, and then I I don't think it was enough water um, to collect, um, so and then I decided to build this vertical piece. I thought I could maybe catch more water, and then I thought, yeah, maybe I can just trick the whole piece. And after a colleague, um, another green colleague, a uh, long time friend from my green neighbor. Um, she told me that uh, yeah, I need more horizontal surface uh, in order to catch more water. So I thought I'll, I'll try to tarp this whole thing. It's, it's still not a big because I guess normally in Toronto here, when you use a water like a repurposed food grade barrel like this, you would um, need a roof to uh, and a downspout, and there's all these uh, fittings like diverters and spigots, and then you, uh, you you that would accompany that kind of setup. And then, um, uh, yeah, um, so this is intended for a, uh, a, a, a farm that I'm sort of uh, volunteering for at the moment and, and, and testing my water barrels. And, um, uh, um, and so it will be placed in the middle of the farm field. And a friend of mine pointed out that uh, it could also maybe act as a scare, scarecrow in the in the middle of the farm field, and um, so when it rains, it will collect the water. And the fact that we you know this, this uh, inner, there's two layers. So um, I was thinking, I was even putting a, uh, another landscape, not landscape cloth, the uh, roll cover that I got, uh, the white one from Lee Valley, and um, over this uh, open top barrel. So, uh, so, and. So it's got, it's got a couple of layers, so the water won't evaporate. Maybe I'm hoping as much. Uh, so when, once once it's inside the barrel, and uh, and it may even act as a shading um, structure, uh, you know, between walls of um, uh, planting, um, you know, uh, planting beds, I guess. Okay. So yes, yeah, sorry, I'm uh, taking a long time here. Almost three minutes. So that's it. Thanks. Appreciate it.